So in this tutorial, we are going to create a birthday leaf which is according to your birthday. So if you select the September of 16, you cannot select the date that before 2nd of September and also after the 30th of September if your company do not allow the people to apply the birthday leave two weeks before his birthday or two weeks after his birthday. So let's go to our project. First we go to the folders and create a project by using npx create react app and we define the name as winmax date. And after it already create a project, we go inside the project by typing cd minmax date. I want to name it as data, but let's continue because this is just the project name. So we enter and type code dot to enter the VS code. And after we enter the VS code, we are going to install two npm package. One is the ms, and the other is moment.js. And the moment.js is very favorite, so I think you will already know that we are going to use this to change to the format that suit the min max date because we have to add the date at the input field like this. And the other for ms, we are going to create the millisecond unit so we can do the calculations to set the range of the date. So now we can type young add ms and at the same time we go to the source we delete the unnecessary file for example we do not need the app.css and also index.css the logo and these two javascript file so we delete this and also at here we can remove this and remove all of this inside the app so now we also do not need this class name. And for the index, because it already do not have the CSS, so we can delete this. And also the JavaScript functions. And again, we have to install the moment. So we type young add moment. And now in here, we just need to add these two input field. And the first one is we want to allow the user to set the birthday. So we have the label. And then we type birthday. And we have the input. And we set this as date. And we create two states. One is the birthday. And the other two is the min max date. So we use use date and we type birthday and we set this as no and we also create min max date so we type use date again we set min date and also the max date and we create another input field and we add the break and we set the annual leave or the birthday leave and now we go to the website by typing young start and it said we haven't import the use date so we have to import the use date now we can see the birthday and the birthday leave so we are going to set the birthday leave by typing on change is equal to event and then set birthday and event.target.value and now we can try to see the birthday at here now every time we click on a date you can see this birthday and now we are going to add the minimum and maximum date 
So we use the use effect. And for example, if we just allow the employee to set the birthday leave two weeks before and two weeks after the birthday, we can do like this. For example, we have to convert this to millisecond. And then we use the MS 14 day, because if you look at the Because if you look at the library, you can see we can convert this one day by using MS1D. So if we want to convert this two weeks, we can use 14D. So we can get the minimum date is equal to new date and we use at new date and then we pass the birthday and then minus millisecond and then we set the max date and then we use this at millisecond and now we, we, we delete this and this depends on the birthday And we have to import the use effect. And you can see we have an import the MS. So we import MS from MS. And then we also import moment from moment. And at last we have to change this to the format, which is equal to this one. Because if you look at the max day and min day, they are not the formats that we want. So for example, if we type this, and then we go to our app, and we use the inspect, and then we go to the console, so every time we change this, you can get this date and this is not suitable for inputting to the max. So we have to change this to another format. So we use set win date is equal to a moment and win date and which is dot format and which is YYMM and also DD. So we do it the same as the set max date. And also this is max date. Now we can take a look on this mean date and also the max date. And we should use this mean date and max date. We can see if we change this to another date, for example, November 11, it will go from the 10, the October 28 to November 25. So we can limit this by using min is equal to min date and max is equal to max date. Now you can see we already set the birthday and now if we go to here, our range is starting from 28th of October to 25th of November, or the other date we cannot select. So we take one more example, if we go to December, or uh, this is September, we can see the day before the 2th of September cannot be selected, and the date after 30th of September also cannot be selected. So this is how to set the mean match date according to your birthday. And just want to add one more thing is 
if you want to set the min max numbers, you may think we just copy and paste to here. It already success, but actually you already see there are some errors. So we have to copy or select all of these and convert these to JSX. And now you can see instead of double code, we have to use a curly bracket to wrap the numbers in order to make it work. So we go to here and now you can see it has the arrows at here. So you can just select from one to five. So this is how to use the min max in the input field.